Hi, today we're going to talk about the TW1 Thinline subwoofer drivers. This is the third Thinline subwoofer line in the JL Audio lineup. The first was the TW5, which was followed by the TW3. I have an example of a 10 TW3 over here. And here you see the new 10 TW1 and the new 12 TW1, which are the latest additions to our Thinline subwoofer arsenal. As with all the other Thinline subwoofers we make, the TW1s depend on a very key piece of patented technology called the concentric tube suspension design. As with the TW5 and the TW3, this technology allows us to push the loudspeaker motor forward in the loudspeaker chassis, reducing the overall depth of the product without compromising excursion capability, which is very important for a subwoofer's performance. Now you'll notice that the TW1 is a little bit deeper in mounting depth than the TW3. In fact, the difference is just over an inch on the 10-inch models. But it's really important to point out that uh, there is another aspect of depth when it comes to actually doing an installation. And that is a combination of the mounting depth and the amount of clearance that's needed in front of the woofer for the forward excursion of the driver. Now when we design grills for our subwoofers, we design the grills to provide just enough clearance for the maximum mechanical excursion that the speaker is capable of. Obviously we don't want to design a grill where the woofer cone or suspension is going to hit the grill at any point. So when you see the woofer with a grill, you're getting a pretty good picture of how much that cone is likely to move out. Now looking at the 10TW3 and the 10TW1 side by side here on the table, you'll notice that in terms of overall height, they're actually almost identical, even though the TW1 is deeper in terms of mounting depth. And that has to do with the way we've designed the frame or the basket of the TW1 to recess the suspension back into the front of the driver. This allows the grill to be much more flush with the surface of the enclosure with much less distance between the surface of the enclosure and the front of the grill as opposed to the TW3. So what you give up in terms of mounting depth, you're actually gaining back in terms of the forward clearance being minimal on a TW1. What's the advantage of that? Well, when we design an enclosure, um, obviously we're limited by the overall depth of the driver if we're mounting the enclosure behind a seat, for example, or maybe under the seat of a pickup truck. So this allows us to build the enclosure slightly bigger than it would be with the TW3 in terms of height. It's a more efficient use of space okay, because of the fact that we're actually using this depth for box volume. The other thing the TW1 offers us over the TW3 is a smaller box volume requirement. So this means we can build a significantly smaller overall enclosure for the TW1 and achieve really, really excellent sub-base fidelity. What difference are we talking about? Well, for the 10TW3, we're looking at a sealed enclosure of only 0.5 cubic feet, which is pretty small. But for the 10TW1, you can actually make that box 0.35 cubic feet, which is significantly smaller. It's about 30% smaller than the enclosure you, you would use for a 10TW3. The basket on the TW1 is an all-new design. Both the 10 and the 12 have all-new tooling. They have a similar feature to the tab ear frame which we made popular with the TW5 and the TW3 except that the frame now has flat sides. So when these are mounted close together, if you put two of these woofers next to one another, they mount very compactly in the front of an enclosure and they look really nice, really clean. There's a really nice diamond cut detail, a bright detail on the outside. And with the TW1s you will receive the grill included at no extra charge with the product. In terms of power handling, the TW1s are rated for 300 watts of power. That's a bit less than the TW3 is rated for. And actually the same power rating that a W1 V3 is rated for. That's a full frame conventional depth driver. The excursion capability of the TW1 is also very similar to the larger W1 V3 product. So you can achieve very good performance with this product in very tight space applications and uh, really take advantage of the architecture of the design to create some really low profile subwoofer systems that can butt up right against the back of a seat or the underside of a seat in a lot of pickup truck installations or sports cars. Anywhere where you need a product that really flushes in very nicely, 
the TW1 will be your go-to driver. The TW1s are built right alongside the TW3s, the TW5s, the W6V3s, the W7s, all our premium products right here in Miramar, Florida, USA. Make sure you visit JLAudio.com or your local authorized JL Audio retailer to find out more information about the TW1.